Have you ever found yourself in this situation? If so, you've come to the right place. Welcome back to our fourth installment on how to murder. In today's episode, we'll learn how to avoid suspicion. Here are some standard weapons of choice. First, the rope. Perfect for your basic strangulation. Fourth, the drill. Good for maniacal bastards, but limited by the range of its extension cord. And now, the knife. Nice and sharp, and good for stabbing. Messes contribute to cleanup time and leave incriminating evidence. Try strangulation. It's quick and clean. Try to be quiet though. You'd be surprised at what neighbors can hear through thin walls. You may think that an elevator is a convenient way to move a body away from a scene, but watch out. Those automatic doors can be tricky. Then again, garbage disposals aren't much better. Try fitting a body down one of those. Let me show you how to properly wrap a dead body. Lay the body on a flat surface. Make sure to tuck the limbs in straight. Sometimes, if rigor mortis is set in, You'll have to tug a little. There we go. Take your time when wrapping the body. Your corpse deserves the utmost care. Make sure to wrap it tightly. We don't want any body fluids getting out. When carrying a body down the street, visible limbs may be a dead giveaway. As you can see here, a poorly wrapped body is arousing suspicion. Many notorious killers have enjoyed keeping trophies from each of their victims. For example, limbs are a good choice. Maybe even a hairbrush. Hmm, that's nice. Very nice. A good choice for beginners would be organs. The liver and kidneys are easiest, but if you're looking for a challenge, try the brain or eyeballs. Formaldehyde is the best way to pickle organs for lasting freshness. But remember, it's an amateur mistake to display a trophy in a prominent area. Hiding your trophy is much better. Try a cupboard. Or maybe a simple tea towel. An alternative to the conventional trophy is the consumption of human flesh. The flesh connoisseur must ensure that the meat is thoroughly cooked to prevent food poisoning. For further information on eating human flesh, please consult our new book, The Joy of Cannibalism. The day after the murder, remember to act normal. Repeat your usual routine. Eat breakfast. Go to work and don't talk about murder. This concludes our fourth installment from the instructional series on how to murder. You should now be well versed in avoiding suspicion and staying free to commit more murder. 
We hope you have enjoyed this time we've spent together. Coming soon, episode 5, Learning How to Frame Someone.